So, I am looking at a map of the Bridges of Madison County on page 170 of the textbook, and it appears we have a right bank, a left bank, and four islands, all connected by some bridges. So, I'm going to put those in here. I have label them with dots. So, this is R. So, I'm just using a single dot to represent the right bank and a single dot to represent the left bank because walking along the bank doesn't affect the photographer at all. He doesn't have to pay tolls or whatever, so we're just going to have a single dot. Now I have four islands, A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. And I represent each of them with a dot. Now I'm going to draw in my bridges. Okay, so from the right bank, I have a bridge to A, um, two bridges to island B, so I'll put them in like that, and a bridge that goes all the way from the right bank to the left bank, so I'll have this go all the way around like that. And actually I have two of those that go all the way around. Now, from the left bank, I have a, two bridges to island C. Put two in like that. And what do I have to D? Just one bridge to D. And that connects the left bank to, to just C and D. Now I have to connect the islands to each other. So there is a bridge from A to C and there's a bridge from C to D, there's a bridge from B to D, there is no bridge from A to B, alright I think I got it, is that 11 bridges? Let's count them. So I have this, this long one, that's 1, and then this other long one is 2, then I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bridges total. So I do have the correct number of bridges. Just gonna make my dots a little clearer here. And this is what we call a graph model of the town graph model of the bridges of Madison County. Now, does this graph model have an Euler circuit or an Euler path? Well, this depends on how many vertices we have that are odd. Okay, so I'm going to look at each vertex and count how many bridges come into it. Okay, how many bridges come into it? So for R, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five bridges coming in, which is odd, an odd number. Then let's take a look at B. So B is going to have one, two, three bridges coming into it, which is also odd. And D has three. L has... One, two, three, four, five. C has one, two, three, four. Even. And A has two, also even. Now, the theorem from the book, Euler's theorem, says that in order to have a path, in order to have a circuit, all of the vertices must be even. So I definitely don't have a circuit. Euler circuit, no. Okay, because I have some odd vertices. But to have an Euler path, all of my vertices have to be even except for exactly two. Okay, and I have more than two odds here. So I don't have a path either. So it's no circuit because I have 
Um, I do not have all evens, and there's no path because I have more than two odds.